Aloha and welcome to Hawaii. Um, I was going to share this video before I left UK because um, I wanted to do it with props and everything. But it was a combination of time running out and also I know that some of you like to see where I'm staying. So I thought I'd do a, a jealousy video, let's call it. So you can't actually see the view that I have, but you can see the reflection of the view that I have because I am here on Big Island to teach Huna as I do twice a year and have done now for a number of years to our group over here. So last week um, I decided that I would make um, a chapati. It's, it, it's, it's like a, a flatbread, it's an unleavened flatbread thing and you get, um, uh, you get chick power, chickpea flour and water and not a lot else, make it really flat and then you've, you, you've just uh, fry it in a pan briefly. Very easy to do, quite low carb, quite quite nice, tasty. And I decided in my wisdom that I would use toasted sesame oil as the cooking oil because I thought I just fancied a, a new flavour. So Julie did my cooked my uh, uh, my my chick chickpea thingies flatbreads. Problem was I couldn't get rid of the dried in toasted sesame seed oil, it just wouldn't leave the pan. And it had also made the pan burn a bit. Now this is my favorite frying pan. It's a great frying pan, I've had it for years. It never burns, it never sticks. It's beautiful and I love it. So I was somewhat peeved to put it mildly. So I had a whole array, I went through an entire array of different things to try and get my pan clean. It's a non-stick pan. So I tried, first of all, I tried ordinary soaking in boiling water. That didn't work. Then I tried neat, uh, neat, neat washing up liquid. That didn't work. So then I moved on to more chemical industrial processes like sillet bang. That didn't work. Then I remembered the power of vinegar. So I tried vinegar. Coal vinegar, not very successful. I tried boiling some vinegar in it, a little bit more successful, softened it up a bit, but it still wasn't really working. And I was using, I didn't want to destroy the pan too much, so I was using one of those sponges with a little um, scritchery back, not really working. Then I discovered my green scritchy, you know those little square things that are just scritchy, scritchy nylon. It moved some stuff, but still wasn't really shifting the, the, the oil. Um, and it just got this brown stain around it. I tried putting a knife wrapped in a towel so I wouldn't scratch it too much. Again, shifted a little bit, but really it wasn't doing it. So I went back to vinegar and the scripture because this seemed to be the most effective combination that I could come up with. And I was scrubbing away with my scripture and my vinegar. You can see why I wanted the props. Scrubbing away with my scripture and my vinegar. And I was getting, uh, I was shifting a little bit, but I was getting real pain here in my elbow and in my shoulder because I was working so hard. And then, and I don't know where it came from, but I was suddenly remembered, reminded of an experience that I had years ago when I was learning massage. And the teacher was demonstrating the power of energy so he got one of his assistants, who was a tiny, tiny woman, uh, very slim and very, and very short, and he got her to sit on a chair, and he got some of the guys, we, we had guys in the class, some of the guys to, be, I mean, they were both muscly guys, to lift her. So they did it twice, and the first time she just sat in the chair, and poof, up went the chair, they lifted her. Second time he told her to do it with energy, so she got in a state, grounded herself with energy, and I swear to you, these two guys, they really, really struggled to lift her off the ground in her chair. And similarly, when I studied Lomi Lomi Massage, which is the Hawaiian massage, and I studied it uh, with a lady called Auntie Margaret. Auntie Margaret was the doyen of, of, of Lomi Lomi, um, and she, she died, unfortunately, not too long after. She was in her 80s when, when, when I was studying with her. And she would sit there and she was supervising the class. Her daughter was doing the, some of the practical stuff. And then periodically she'd get up and she'd come over to the table. And as I say, she was over 80 
and she'd, she damaged her knees falling off the airplane steps at Kona Airport. So she was not, she had no, no real strength. And she would lean on the body and she was tiny again, but just the energy. And you'd feel like she'd, she'd run over you with a 10 ton drop. I mean, the power of it was extraordinary, but she wasn't doing it with physical power. She had no physical power. She was doing it with energy. So I thought to myself, okay, why don't I try cleaning my pan with energy? So I got the pan, got the scripture, and rather than this, I, I imagine bringing in the energy from source, sending it down my arm and sending it into the pan. Now, sadly, I haven't got the pan here to show you. I wasn't gonna ship it 12,000 miles or whatever it is. Anyway, the other side of the planet, just so I could prove the point on a video. But that pan is absolutely burn free, sesame oil free, brown stain free. It is now a beautiful silver, silver colored stainless steel frying pan. And I did it with energy. And this to me is a real reminder of the power of energy and how, how easy it is to forget its power. Now it's not just physically powerful as, as I found there, but it's also powerful for shifting stuff. When you wanna shift stuff in your body, bring in energy to shift stuff in your body. When you want to shift emotions, bring in energy and shift the emotions. When you want to manifest, bring in energy to build up your manifestation before you put it out there. Put it out there with the energy that you want, with the energy of the intention. So just a reminder of the power of energy from such an unlikely source, the humble stainless steel frying pan. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day. I'm going off walkabout. So I'll catch up with you very, very soon.